At Design39 Campus, we like to start with why for everything. So we began to question why homework? What are we going to do with it? Does it make any sense? We also started by listening to parents, and parents were loud and clear about the amount of homework that is happening in elementary grades and middle school. There's way too much. That's the consensus. So we began to look into the research on homework. Stanford University published a white paper, and this one is actually linked from our website, so you can go read the entire uh, research paper if you'd like. They've gone through and taken a look at all of the research that they could find out there on homework and collected all of the findings together. And here's some of the basic things that they found. Most people had assumptions that homework serves these basic ideas. That homework teaches responsibility and a strong work ethic. That a lot of homework is a sign of a rigorous curriculum and good teacher. That homework keeps kids busy and out of trouble at home. And that homework leads to higher test scores and achievement. All of these assumptions need to be challenged because what Stanford found was there's no concrete evidence to support any of these assumptions. In their research, there's none. The reality check for us is that the studies that they looked at did show that too much homework actually decreases the amount of time that students read for pleasure, participate in extracurricular activities, and spend time with family. So too much and not developmentally appropriate homework actually damages the desire to learn and student engagement, which is exactly what we don't want. So at Design 39 Campus, we want children to read and or be read to every day. And this doesn't have to be something that ends in the primary grades. Parents can still read to their kids as they get older, as texts become more difficult. The very act of sitting down and reading as a family also communicates the importance of reading. This is the one thing that clearly can be seen in research. Children who read at home on their own not only become better readers, they do better in school. We also want students to create their own homework based on their own goals, curiosity, or interest. This can also be on projects they're working on in class that they really want to know more about. So it could look something like this. You have a group of students in a Google Plus circle, and a teacher might say, here's a great article to read. And it's not assigned as an official assignment they have to do, but when the kids start reading it and it's about the thing they're interested in, they actually wind up reading it as homework. And then they actually start pushing other articles to friends in their group, or videos, or anything that they can find. And before you know it, kids are actively engaged in homework, but it doesn't feel like homework to them. That's what we'd rather see. Short skill practice, of course, is going to be necessary when needed. And it's not about um, how much. It's really about frequency. It just needs to happen a little bit over time. So instead of 50 math problems, five would do just fine. We need homework to be meaningful to students and reinforce big concepts and essential questions. Certainly, we do not want to see packets of homework coming home to K3 students where they're going to spend hours. We've heard the horror stories. We've heard two hours a night for a second grader. That's ridiculous. That is not the intent of what we're going to be doing at Design 39. We also believe that no homework should ever be assigned over weekends or holiday breaks because that is a time for families.